clicked on this video to learn three unbelievable CapCut tools that everyone should know. So let's not waste any time and get straight into number one. Auto captions. Auto captions are so helpful because with this tool, you can forget the old method of making captions word by word and adopt this new tool. All you have to do to apply this tool to your video is click on text, go to auto captions, and then you can choose if you want your original sound, voiceover, or both to turn into captions. For this, I'm going to do original sound. Then you want to click start. Now that it's applied, I'm going to click on batch edit. What you can do with batch edit is you can change the amount of words that comes up per caption. If you want to make it one or two words per caption, you just click return, and then you go to the next gap in between words, and you click return. And you keep doing that throughout all of them. If you want the pace of your video to be a little slower, you might want 4 to 9 words per caption. To change the way the text looks, you do that the same way as regular text. You just click style, and you can change anything you want. Whenever you change it, one section of text changes the whole rest of it, which is awesome. I scaled it up a little bit, and this is what it looks like. This video is amazing. You should definitely subscribe. This tool is very simple, but very effective. Next is remove background. To do this, you want to add an overlay, or two, and then you want to click cut out, and you want to click remove background. Now it will start removing the background, and you should be able to move the overlay wherever you want. So in this case, if you want to make something stupid, all you do is click remove background, and you can get something like this. You can use this tool for many more important things. This tool can be used for a variety of different reasons. It's also very fun to play around with. Last but not least is lock on. With this tool, you can take any image and make it lock on to a face or object or body. Let's say you want to put an emoji over someone's face because you can't show it. I'm going to grab this sticker, I'm going to drag it on top of my face, and I'm going to select tracking. Then you're going to drag the circle right above the face or object or whatever you want it to track and you're going to scale it down to the right size. Then you can select start tracking. As you can see, I covered up my face with this emoji. That was three unbelievable CapCut tools that everyone should know. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and if you want to see any more tutorials, leave them down below in the comments. See you in the next one.